All right, a couple quick updates just while I'm finishing some stuff up. Uh, number one, voice is finishing up some things. There's some stuff that I wanted to add for the more technical users like custom functions uh, rather than just having appointment booking or even dynamic data pulling. I want the people who are the super users who are going to really push this thing out, I want you to be able to have really cool tools to be able to do this. So we're going to have custom functions and we're going to have a function builder for you. Uh, those who are more technical, those who can go in there and want to build these cool things for clients, you will have all the resources and capabilities to do so. And those who are not as technical or maybe just want to build something uh, for themselves or for their clients, that will be there as well. All right. If you want to test it, here is a number for you to call right here. Um, this is a completely unprompted, completely untrained. This is this is just the basics. This was built in like two to three minutes as soon as I woke up to just kind of put it out there. Call it, play with it. Um, there's the stuff. A couple updates here. And by the way, voice and finishing up because I got to do a couple build outs this weekend. Um, and I'll have some videos over that. There will be a town hall tomorrow. By the way, if you do not know this, in the school group, up here, calendar, um, here's some cool stuff. So we have our weekly Wednesday call, right? The weekly Wednesday call is literally just an hour and a half dedicated of my time to sit here and answer questions. Um, if I have any updates, I give them there. It's just a place for us to talk and have an open forum, um, again, for FAQs, but also ideas, you know, cool stuff that's going on, uh, cool stuff that's going on from you. That's, that's our time together um, as my schedule starts to fill up and I am not able to take uh, as much time with everyone. That is our time right there to hop on and, and do that. Now, uh, going forward, tomorrow, by the way, there will be a town hall just for the update. So all the stuff that's kind of in there, in the update, um, that will be tomorrow at 12. You can hop on, you can not hop on, whatever you want to do. Uh, there will be emails and things sent out. So it's entirely up to you. And again, that will be an open forum of just, hey, what's going on? Hey, how do I do this? And we will spend an hour and a half doing that together. After that, um, I get a lot of questions. For example, here, this post I just made, um, the system is you know, a little bit technical, uh, but how do I get mine to never fail? How does mine never fail? How does mine talk exactly like me? Here's a screenshot. This is mine uh, talking to me. I, I just had sent this right before this. You can see it's 2.53 there, uh, 3 o'clock here. This is me just testing an appointment, rescheduling, an appointment booking and rescheduling. How am I getting mine to talk exactly like me? How am I getting mine to never break, to never fail? Um, I am going to be doing a weekly call. So that's what this is going to be, a weekly call on Friday, every week. And we are going to go over not only this system, but AI in general, to make you an AI SME, a subject matter expert, an AI master in things like prompting, uh, things like building AIs, uh, mindset around AI, because that's another thing that is quite overlooked sometimes, but is very, very important for building these things, the mindset around what you can build or what you can build or cannot build. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be spending an hour and a half every Friday at lunchtime, uh, plus the weekly, right? The weekly uh, Wednesday call is just going to be open forum. But Fridays are going to be a master class where I will have literally almost an itinerary of things we're going to go over um, to make you an AI subject matter expert going forward, not only for yourself, but for your clients as well, so that you can not only utilize this tool that we have inside here of Assistable Agent Centric, right? But also other AI tools. The, the same principles apply globally. Um, and again, whether you stay with us forever, forever or whether you move on for whatever reason, I just want you to be successful. That's all I care about is I want you to be very, very smart and very, very successful because at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the clients that we serve. All right. And if you're well educated, it doesn't matter what products you use. You're able to build really, really cool stuff. That's what we're going to do on Fridays. All right. No open forum. We're going to go over stuff. We're going to learn stuff together. We're going to build things together. Um, and we're going to do that every Friday. All right. That's that's along with this. So updates. A um, couple updates. Let me go into uh, perhaps right here. <clears throat> Just as you see them, they'll be pushed throughout today. Um, again, I'm spending a little bit more time on this one as opposed to the other one. So let's go over the changes and what is to change. Knowledge bases have changed from uh, file retrieval to vector storage. There is some nuance with vector storage just with the way that it works, right? Uh, it's more of an FAQ style, more of a reformatting style than it is a document retrieval. Um, very, very powerful, but there's a little nuance in this. We'll go over that. I will have videos on that. 
um, you will find that it's extremely, extremely powerful. But that is the change to knowledge base. You'll even notice here, um, knowledge base is that you need to update. Uh, we will prompt you for what needs to be updated. You just click that button. We'll do all the crazy stuff on the back end. Now, the calendars you will be booking from are still going to be in here, right? These are these calendars here. You have to select it. You know, has to choose, have to say in use. This is for right now. It's moving to assistance. It'll move to voice assistance. It'll move to chat assistance. But for right now, it's going to be in here. You'll even see uh, it's going to move here. But for the meantime, go here. Um, in the assistance, uh, let's not even go over voice assistance. Let's go over chat, right? Some of the new stuff on here. And I'll even go to my personal one so you can see it. All right. Um, some of the new things, advanced settings inside of functions. This allows you to do interim, uh, interim messages while it's performing functions, right? While it's doing things. The system has been beefed up like you would not believe. Even today, there were some outages and stuff this morning because I was beefing it up, all right? Um, the way that it handles functions, the way uh, that it speeds up, I had to add some weights, right? So it's not instant like it was 12 hours ago, but the weights actually make it more reliable. So there's like three seconds here, three seconds there, right? Um, this thing is beefed up the way it works now. Uh, so these interim messages, you can add them for each task and assist, assistant will perform. You see a couple here, you see a few here. Uh, and what you're doing is you're just saying, while you go get appointment time, say this. Um, and this is actually a random list, so you can add as many as you want. We'll just select a random one. Um, and that'll be sent to the user um, as this goes through. And this can be done for all of them, right? Okay. Integrations. This is where calendars will be moving forward. You go here, and if you have multi-calendar, we'll be able to book multi-calendar. But for right now, it's going to be a knowledge base. Go ahead and get familiar with this infrastructure, though. Uh, go ahead and get in here, play around with it, and you should be good to go. All right, fetch date on start. We'll get to that later. Um, knowledge base is this here where you add your vector store. If you do not see a vector store ID, go ahead and reset your stuff. Just update information. You will see a vector store ID when the vector store has been added to the assistant. All right, queuing time. We all know this filter tap back. So this is going to be someone liked your message, someone loved your message. We'll filter that out. We will not reply to that. All right. That's not live quite yet. That's there um, and doing active testing, but that should be live after this update. All right, cool. Multi-send messages. This breaks your message up. If it's a longer message, it breaks it up into multiple smaller messages and you're good to go there. Reformatting training will be a thing. If you have more than 100 AI responses, we'll be able to reformat and train your system on its response reformatting for you. Time constraints are for those who need regulation. There you go. Context, Flow Builder. You see the Flow Builder is a little bit different. A uh, lot more stuff here that's going to be coming in the future, but that's what you see. And then voice, again, uh, voice is going to be uh, much different. And what it's going to be is going to be, if I go here, personality prompt, a lot of cool stuff here. Voices, languages, you can see all the new languages, ambient noises, you can see all the ambient noises, models, the way it talks to people, back channeling, all this fun stuff, the flow builder right here, integrations right here, call logs right here. All this is gonna change just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but this is what the new one's gonna look like, much more powerful. All right, and then you have assistant tags. This is your deployment, right? What used to be called deployment. This is how you're gonna get your chat-based assistants into the CRM with their tag. And then phone numbers here, this is where you would go to buy a phone number. You choose your assistant, you buy the phone number, and then you have an inbound outbound phone number. All right, those who are international, um, those who are in the US first, you can use inbound and outbound and transient. Uh, so you can do the inbound outbound, which is assigned a number and you're good to go. And then the outbound transient, right? The ones that, um, you know, that we're using now, the models that we're using now for beta uh, will be beefed up as well. And they will use the transient number. Those who are international, while I work out some deals for international pricing on Twilio and processing, making it still easy, super simple, cheap for you, um, you'll have to use the, the transient, but we are gonna beef it up to the uh, degree and caliper of the inbound outbound just for right now. And then I'm actively working on stuff for you. So um, a lot of crazy stuff to go, make a short video for you just so you could see it. Um, and then we will go over all this tomorrow, town hall, weekly AI masterclass, weekly town hall on Wednesdays, uh, resources coming your way after this week, rebuilding agency stuff, a lot of cool stuff coming. Thanks so much. Happy Thursday.